वेलकम बैक गाइज आई एम हेयर विद यू टू सॉल्व दिस प्रॉब्लम नंबर ट्वेंटी नाइन ऑफ सी एस आई आर नेट जून टू थाउजेंड ट्वेल्व सो दिस इज अ क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम लीनियर एलजेब्रा सो फर्स्टली लेट एस रीड इट द डायमेंशन ऑफ द वैक्टर स्पेसिस ऑफ ऑल सीमेट्रिक मेट्रिस ऑफ ऑर्डर एन क्रॉस एन विद रियल एंट्रीज विद द गिवन कंडीशन दैट ए वन वन मस्ट पी जीरो एंड ट्रेस मस्ट पी जीरो सो दीज आर योर गिवन कंडीशन ओके सो बिफोर प्रोसीडिंग विद इट what i will do okay what i will do i will provide you a note what this note actually suggest you that if let us suppose v over f okay be a vector space and w be its subspace let us suppose okay okay both are okay i am considering this okay i will write fd also here i am considering this v to be finite dimensional okay then only this will work so let us v be a finite dimensional vector space and w be its sub space then dimension of w is actually equal to dimension of v okay minus number of linearly independent restrictions so this is the formula to obtain what to obtain uh dimension of a subspace okay now what is given to you the dimension of the vector spaces of all symmetric matrices okay so they are just uh, what they are doing that they are taking a space w okay which consist of symmetric matrices okay which consist of all those matrices which are symmetric plus the first entry a11 must be zero and trace must be zero so a matrix which satisfy all these three conditions will lie inside w now what i will take my v i will take my v to be okay m n r which is basically the set of all n cross n matrices over the field r okay i will write f over here it can be c also okay i will write f so a n cross n matrices okay all the n cross n matrices i will directly say now in all the n cross n matrices you know that dimension of this space v is actually n square why this is n square because you will have a matrix okay and each individual entry can take its value independently okay it is not dependent on any other value so how many free variables do you have in this case for this mn in this case you have n square number of free variable therefore the dimension is n square okay so <coughs> this is done that y dimension of v is n square now what is w firstly see this w consist of symmetric matrices okay now see what are symmetric matrices symmetric matrices are actually those matrices which have the conditions that a transpose must be a this is the condition that means that this triangle okay what is a transpose is equal to a means a i j must be equal to a j i that means entries of this triangle is totally dependent upon entries of this triangle you are getting my point once you fix these entries the entries for this triangle are already fixed you are getting my point so firstly what i will do i will firstly evaluate the dimension for uh dimension for this uh, symmetric matrices right first of all i will do that okay now see how many li restrictions do we have in this case okay how many li restrictions do we have in this case just only i'm considering the case of symmetric matrices okay so you see if you see this entry which is here will be equal to this entry right now these two entries okay will be equal to entries right here that means how many li restrictions you will get that firstly we need to take into consideration okay how many li restrictions you are going to get okay so how many entries are these firstly count these entries how many entries are these so you see these are n minus 1 entries right these are n minus 1 entries now on the next step how many entries are in this row okay i am considering this matrix to be n cross n these are n minus 2 entries in this row now coming back to here up to here what you will get one in the last one you will get one entry 
so these the this row actually contains n minus 1 entries right those n minus 1 entries are totally dependent upon the entries here so how many restrictions from how many restrictions you will get from this row you will get n minus 1 restrictions you are getting my point or not these n minus 1 variables which are here are actually restricted they cannot take their value independently therefore these values will actually create a restrictions okay so how many restrictions do you have for this symmetric case only 1 plus 2 up to n minus 1 these are the total number of restrictions you will generate from this case so this is n into n minus 1 over 2 okay you actually know the sum for this one now the question is adding up another restriction that a11 must be 0 that means this entry which is here is not independent the a11 must be 0 that means you are adding one more restrictions to it so i am going to conclude total number of restrictions okay i am going to use this formula so i have to conclude total number of restrictions so one more restriction is added because of this now it also says that trace must be 0 so what is trace what do you know about trace trace is actually the sum of the diagonal element okay now since a11 is 0 so i will remove this one now see out of these entries okay diagonal contains actually n number of entries right diagonal contain n number of entries now out of this uh, one entry is already gone therefore it will it is containing n minus one number of entries right out of those n minus one entries all are not free because you can actually express let us suppose a22 in terms of a33 up to minus a n n just take on the right hand side this just take all the entries except a22 on the right hand side that's that means a22 is actually dependent upon these one so the entry which is here the value of this entry is actually decided by the entry which is which are right below it of it you're getting my point so this one is not free so therefore this will okay this one is not free therefore this will uh, collect a one more restrictions to it okay so therefore these are the total number of restrictions we are getting you are getting my point okay now see these are the total number of restrictions we are getting okay now apply this formula what it says that dimension of w will be n square minus total number of restrictions so you have to minus this thing right okay now just take lcm what you will get 2n square minus n square plus n minus 4 over 2 so what you will get n square plus n minus 4 over 2 this is what you will get so this is actually the dimension okay so if you are not getting it i will repeat it again for you okay so firstly see what formula i am going to use i am going to use that if dimension of the vector space is let us suppose uh, okay i am representing it with dimension of v so i will not say that thing, that thing okay i will repeat it again let us suppose v be a finite dimensional vector space and w be its subspace now from this equation what you know that dimension of the subspace can actually be represented in terms of dimension of vector space but it has one condition that you have to subtract dimension of v minus number of li restrictions that means how many restrictions you are getting in order to create this subspace that you have to minus right so you have to create a subspace which contain the condition that matrix should be symmetric it should be a11 should be zero and trace must be zero so these are the conditions that you need to <coughs> evaluate that how firstly you have to see that how many li restrictions these these will contribute okay i have to find total number of li restrictions so you you need to see how much restrictions this is creating how much restriction this is creating how much restriction this is creating this is what you need to see now i already told you this that for the symmetric matrices this triangle will decide the entries of this triangle okay now that means firstly see this has n minus 1 entries that means n minus 1 variable are already decided right if you will decide the entries here that means n minus variable are already decided in this row in this row n minus 2 variable are already decided after being decided uh, after you fix this one you will fix this one you are getting my point 
after we fix this one this will already be fixed okay so how many restrictions you are getting in total by just this symmetry condition by this symmetry condition you are getting this number of li restrictions now there is one more restriction that a11 must be zero so i am adding one to it now trace must be zero so trace must be zero you are getting that one variable will not be free that means one more restrictions are there is there so therefore one is adding i am adding one to it now i am using this formula so i am getting this as my answer so therefore first one is correct and all other options are false right okay so this is a easy question you if you are not getting still not getting it then just think over it that what i am doing just see the video again and then you will get it okay just use your brain okay so thank you guys